Good morning. Today is the second Sunday of Pentecost, and we're so grateful that this is the middle of the year. Amen? Amen. God has been so good. For well, he has brought us to this day, his mercy and his grace. As we gather in the house of the Lord to worship God, let us come in spirit and our faith knowing that God is with us. God of all presence, God of power, God of all knowing. And may that God lead us in our worship and allow us to experience the love of God as we hear his word as we sing and pray. So with all that said, I wanted to welcome all of you to our Sunday worship service. If you're able, please stand for our call to worship. Good morning. Good morning. Malo Lele. Malo Lele. Amen. We come to worship God. Who loved us before we were yet born. Who knows us even better than we know ourselves. Whose presence never leaves us. And whose love for us never ceases. This, this is our God. Let us worship together. Let's join in our first hymn, number 616, 618, and also on the <clears throat> Let us break, to, break together. <laughs> Into the darkness of the world, 
with the glorious light of your presence, and the light which leads us to you, now revealed in Jesus Christ. Thank you for being with us, not only in this world and in that particular place, but also in person and in our heavenly ways. We pray that the kingdom of God is set up for our children, for the rise of our hearts and minds from all over the world, and to our hearts and spirit of God. We must hear to the air, pray to the belief, and the determination to continue to sit in the ground and send our youth to our country of the Lord of God. In sweet hearts, we pray.
Thank you. Thank you again, and uh, continue to pray for you and your family. And it's been uh, a blessing to be with your family on Thursday. Okay, before we go on and continue with our sharing, our blessings, and give thanks to God, uh, we'd like to invite all the children to please come and we'll sing.
the love of Jesus in my heart. Down in my heart. Come on. Down in my heart. I'm so happy, so very happy. I got the love of Jesus in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I got the love of Jesus in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. Okay, go back and just do, I got the joy, joy, joy. And I want you to sing loud so you guys, you guys, so we can hear you, okay? Here we go. Okay. Okay. I got the joy. I got the joy, 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 joy back in my heart. Do we have the love of Jesus in our heart? Yes. Amen. Amen. So I'm glad that we get to sing that song. Thank you, Missy, for helping us. So let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for your joy, for your love. Allow us to be here this morning and sing and give thanks to you. We pray for our children and those who are not with us this morning as they um, come to the end of the school year, oh Lord, we pray that you bless them their last week next week. And let this summer bring joy and bring hope and bring the love of Jesus to each and every one of them. Whether they're at the beach, spend time with their family, play sport, or go to summer school, may you always be with them. In Jesus' name we pray, and all God's people say, Amen and Amen. Now we may go back to, uh, I believe Moa is here to take them to Sunday school. Oh, um, Sunday school? Uh, Malo, let us continue with our worship. Um, can you, can you take the kids and see if Ahmad Law can help uh, Ahmad Law with the Sunday school? And you can go to Sunday school. Thank you. Again, this is the second Sunday of Pentecost, and as we continue to celebrate the blessing with the Holy Spirit that fall afresh on us. Na fafita ito niya ko dawa siya ki sapat e uluwaki o yano imahina o ita o koen. Ya da funo nga mayen yo ang hibayo ang amariye o ita o. We come to the middle of the year and give thanks to God for his blessing and his love. Even though we celebrate two members of our congregation's life who have called into eternity these past two weeks. Liberano Gwen and Michael Horton. But we do believe, as um, the psalm reminds us, he has searched us and he knows us. Amen? Now, God, for that, I have a very happy birthday. I have a very happy birthday. I have a very happy birthday. So let's begin with our celebration, blessing, birthday. Okay, Misty? Um, First, the blessing. Uh, today is Ellie's 14th birthday. She's not here because she's with other family away for the weekend. She's coming back today. We'll get to Muss and Custer a little bit later. Uh, but that girl is 14. 100%. 14. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and also, you know, just, I know you're looking at this. I have a chest cold. <laughs> so, so prayers for some healing. I know I'm not the only one. I still haven't seen Karen return. So. You know, you just load up on meds and do what you got to do. But, um, you know, just prayers for anybody that's doing this whole thing because it's happening. Thank you. Happy birthday to Allie. Mm -hmm. And hope you feel better. Lord, in your love and mercy, hear yeah. our prayers. Any others? Uh, blessing? Birthdays? Okay, uh, Linda? Carolyn Monroe's birthday is June 3rd. So that's tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Carol. Be a phone, I'm sure she'd love a phone call. You know, just to say happy birthday. Yeah, she never misses anyone else's. I'll tell you what. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Happy birthday to Carolyn. Thanks be to God. And Bill? My son Cyril on the back is going to be 23. Cyril, oh, oh, 23 years old. Send him our love and happy birthday to Cyril. Thanks be to God. Any other? Nettie, Renetti? Lisa. Lisa? I will be to June. 27th of June. Lisa. Taufi, hi, Lisa. And you say, Tafa. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. 214 uh, <coughs> birthdays. Ellie and Lisa on the 27th. Lord, in your love and mercy, thanks be to God. Happy birthday, Lisa. Lisa is in Sunday school. Any other blessing? Um, as Doris is here with us, thank you for. Uh, words of thanks to the congregation and thank you for being here with us. We we'll continue to pray for you and your family. Lord, in your love and mercy, yeah. welcome back and continue to pray for you and Mele and and you have your family for the loss of your niece in the island. Lord, in your love and mercy, hear our prayers. Um, Chris? Prayers for my cousin Jean. Jerry passed away yesterday. Okay. Lord, in your love and mercy, yeah. hear yeah. our prayers. Linda? For Pete who did have a fall a few days ago. He did not have a good day yesterday, so I guess that's why he's not in church. But prayers for healing, continued healing for people. Thank you, Linda. And also for Karen, uh, she's not here today. She's still going through uh, some illness. Lord, in your love and mercy, Amen. our prayers. Let us pray for the bishop, uh, and all the church leaders as we'll be um, having our annual conference uh, on the 12th to the 15th. Uh, prayers for all of us will be at the conference. And Lord, in your love and mercy, hear our prayers. Good to have Malaya with us. I know she has been sick for a while. Malo Malaya, Ofatu Kiakoi, Behebe Kialatu. Please remember Latu Hufanga, Hina's mother, in your prayers. Lord, in your love and mercy, in your prayers. Fafita Eta Ukafata Pemu Setuata Malo Lope, Kia Winet, Setuata Loma, Ukutoni Wotape. Let us come. Let us have a moment of silence for those who have passed, for those who are not be able to be with us. Thank you. Now, Tolu, now, Tolu, now, Tolu, Mawapsia, ki tumu tumu o hala fonoga o ita o poeni. Na a mau fonoga mai me sanua, a mai e ke mai wa anga mali e o ita o. E a mau sio ke hala fonoga ko e ki pe pe mo of. Na mo ni pe a fono fola da mo sanu o a poeni. Na ki hakule ki mau tolu pe a ke ilo. Ko mau no fo hifo pe mo mau tu a ke o toka afio e afio. Fafita, you 
and knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven <coughs> together in the depths of earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to me. How precious to me are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. This is the word. Thanks be to God. And I invite you to please stand for the gospel reading. At that point, we have to get out I go spin. <laughs> and I read it in tongue. The words is on the screen, but um, hear the word of God and may the Holy Spirit be with you as we read the gospel lessons. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. You may be seated. The gospel lessons talked about Jesus versus the Pharisee. The Pharisee are people who study the word of God that know every single rules and law of Moses. But on this day when they encounter Jesus in the temple, they have these questions and they rejected what Jesus responds to their questions. We often come before God with hearts full of various emotions and intentions. Some with good heart, some with hatred and evil heart. But we may not see our heart and what we're thinking unless we speak and whatever that reflect our actions and our words can reveal what's in the heart of a person. The psalm for this morning give us the character of who God is, the God that we worship. God who search us and know us. God who know when we sit and when we rise. 
God who knows our past, our present, and our future. And before a word is on our tongue, the Lord know it completely. Yes, God that we worship is a God of all present, God of all powerful, and God who knows us. Let us pray. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable to you, Lord, our rock and our redeemer. And all God's people say, Amen. I remember when my youngest daughter was three years old, uh, we went to the mall uh, with my late husband. And we, when we got to the mall, we entered the store. And then uh, my husband and I kind of uh, looked into the sales. And then we continued looking through the stores. And we lost track. And somehow, Fangai Lupe got um, wandered off from us. A few minutes, we turned around and we couldn't find her. I was panicked and I tried to trace back our steps to see where, uh, calling her name, but there was no sign of her. But I noticed my husband remained calm and then he walked out the store and while I was with the security guard trying to describe my daughter and a few minutes I saw um, my husband came back with Famalupe. And I looked at him and I was just like, how did you know her? And then he said, well, I knew there's a, a toy store downstairs and I knew that she would be there. So I just went straight and I found her in the aisles playing with the toys. As a mother, I feel so bad because I should know my daughter more than my husband, but she, he knew her better than I am. And we reunited with joy. But this reminds me of how God knows who we are. God knows exactly what you want, what you're going through, what have you experienced, as my husband knew our daughter. As you know, being a pastor, my husband spent more time with my kids than I am. But thanks be to God that she, we found her safely. The God that we worship assured to us that nothing go unnoticed. Whatever that you going through in life. These past two weeks, we gather here to celebrate a life of a faithful mother. And hearing the many stories of the children and grandchildren who share how much their grandmother impact their lives. And even though that she left, but they will always remember her love, her compassion, her sacrifices, her hard work. Likewise, as Doris and her children remember Michael of how much he brings joy to their family, he was truly a sweet boy, a good man. This morning, we come to remind us as we gather here for the last six months, we experienced God's unfailing love and care. There were times that we faced worry and fear and confusion, but we trust our Heavenly Father knows us deeply and is always with us always ready to bring us back to his loving arms 
always waiting for us to return, to call upon him. So I believe that every Sunday we gather here, we seeking out for his love, his mercy, and his grace. But the psalm this morning reminds us that he always search us. The Lord know you. Before you get up this morning and get ready and on your way to the church, God already knew what you're thinking, what you planned. God of yesterday, God of today, and God of tomorrow. And the Bible says we were created beautifully and wonderfully made, fearfully made by God in God's hand and love. In Genesis chapter 1, that talk about how God created this world. And on the last day, the sixth day, he created us out of the dust. He fearfully and wonderfully made us with his love, with the power of God that he blessed us with the breath of life. And not only that, he called us his children, his beloved children. You and I are precious to God. But here in our gospel lessons this morning, Jesus and his disciples were walking through the grain field on the Sabbath. And his disciples, disciples began to pick, to pick some of the grain. And the Pharisees noticed that they questioned Jesus, saying, why are your disciples picking the grains on Sunday? According to the law that the Sabbath is the holy day that we keep it holy, it is God's day. And Jesus said, don't you remember David? He went to the temple and took the bread that used to offer, that people brought their sacrifice. He took the bread and shared with his man. What, do, what did you say about that? David's action definitely showed that he disobeyed the law of the Sabbath. And here you come to criticize me and my disciples of not keeping the Sabbath holy. So Jesus went into the synagogue or the church and he noticed a man with her hand. So Jesus called him to come to the middle of the worship and then he turned to the Pharisees and said, what about this man? Is it good on the Sabbath to heal him or not to heal him? That is the question to you and I. What do we do when we see there is a need? Are you going to wait until Monday? Are you not going to help? I believe Jesus come and say with all the rules and laws in the Old Testament, we can put it all into two. To love God with all your heart, your mind, and your strength, and your heart. And to love your neighbors. Yes, we have all the rules and the Ten, uh, ten Commandments in the Old Testament. But Jesus, remember, said, I come to fulfill the law. I come to complete all that was prophesied in the Old Testament. And how we complete the law? With compassion. It's all about love, to love God and love one another. And you notice here that the reason why they criticize and they ask Jesus about breaking the law on Sabbath, it's not about the law, but it's all about their relationship with Jesus. Because they have noticed that Jesus come and many of the people have heard his preaching and teaching and they started to follow Jesus. With their heart of evil and envy and rejected Jesus as the son of God. This is the boy that grew up in Nazareth. His father is a carpenter, a pender, and he is the one that grew up with all of us and now we return and say that he is the Messiah that we've been waiting for. 
God knows our heart. God knows what we're going through as we share and ask prayer for our loved one. Let me remind you, when your heart is right with God and trust in him, Jesus always with his disciples. Jesus went to the temple and saw the men with her hand and he called him out to stand in the middle of worship and he healed him. He says, stretch out your hand. And his hand started to heal. What is the Sabbath for all of us? The Sabbath as Jesus wants us to do good but do no harm and walk humbly with the Lord. The Sabbath is for us to do God's will but not like those who saw the Samaritan man lying there half dead and they walk away because they have to rush to their worship. God called all of us to trust in him because he is with us. And even though you may hide what you're going through and not share with your brothers and sisters, even though you may go through tough time of life, turn to God and Christ will be with you, will heal you because he is all powerful. He has the power to comfort you, to heal you, to give you peace, to give you strength because that is the God that we worship. But we should have a good heart, a heart that changed and allow God to bless us with his presence. So when we see what needed to be done, regardless of what's happening, you'll be able to discern what God's will is for you. I know in our congregation, we're going through a tough time of all the changes that are happening. But I believe when God knows our heart with our intention, that how we respond to those who needed our love, then God will bless us as God blessed his with her had man was in the temple. Ya 
que na pule aqui que te fe fe e na tamba te ti assim su se assim foi a coisa foi que mata a na máquina e que tal se até foi lá o foi que recebe a outra tem de fazer o tal dinheiro fazemos aí também a tal moleção de a coisa que dinheiro é tal moço e tal o homem que tum tum o homem é tal coisa o homem que fazemos que o homem tal homem que tal fazer sim que tal se o que ganha o ele leio porque copi pega que tal dor que tal não foi bem que a minha que falha e ganha lá o copi e pegou a tua tala não a copi pe tu corri foi que a tal tal hanga e se suou a tua naquil que tal dor foi sapate que tal falha leia e a neo mo tá aí a o ficar o é como fulu que tal tal que a sapate que mon malu pe a tal Tak ada yang berkuai yang fanya tak atau hanya itu atau tak kau ini. Tetapi tadi pek yang moni teh kita faham kuai yang awal lele. Kau dah tahu mukui kita faham kita faham yang awal lele kita faham apa. Kau hanya apa yang kita lawan ke ombia yang jelas perlu tak kuat ya atau dua kita tahu atau faham ke siasi perlu tak kepe atau mukui. Kau ngau we yang faham kita perlu kita melawan kau ini. Que tal falha na água de lei, a água de farrafo no ruim, a água de ofa, que é o imisia, o sisu clássico e tal no ruim. Que é o outro ato, que é o outro que há, o que há que puri, a me haia a ideação. Que é o outro ato, o outro que há mais nada. Que é o outro que está mal no que há, que é o outro que há que há a fio e a me a rolo cotoa. Tu vê moa que há que há que vem a tal moleção de a coen, Oh, the Tafanga, the Tafale, the Tafasi, the Tafale, 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 the Come and change not only our mind but in our heart. Romans 12 verse 1 says, Let us renew our mind and be transformed our heart. So we can be God's hands and feet of giving life, of build up others, of share compassion and be kind and give the blessing to others as God has blessed us. For God is all present, all powerful, and ever loving and always with us, no matter what, where we are and what we do. Yes, may that God of all knowing be with you wherever you are. Lead our journey in the next six months, looking forward that God will bless us in many ways so we can be a blessing to others. So today, as we come and prepare to receive the body and the blood of Christ, let us make a commitment that we We'll put our faith and trust in Jesus, his death and resurrection, and allow God to be present in our lives because he is a God of knowing our past, our present, and our future. He's a God who is always with us. All God's people say, Amen. Amen. <laughs> we'll be following musical B, I believe, and that is on page eighteen. <laughs> Por ela tem que rua vai pegar tá o Riva, o Riva vai sacar a menina que tá com a fata e tá ali o sacar a menina que vai dar ali. You may turn to page 18 or you follow the words on the screen. And can someone let the Sunday school know that we will begin our Holy Communion? The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
it is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and a joyful thing, always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and enjoy their unending hymn. And so in remembrance of this your mighty act in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in, win -win, in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. that we may be for the world, the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. By your spirit, make us one with Christ and one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world, until Christ comes in final victory, and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, our honor and glory is yours, almighty Father, now, and forevermore. change and have a new heart that allow God to come and live in us. God who knows you and God who knows us. Amen. You will come through the center aisles. The tongue will start with a, a hymn, a first tongue in hymn, and then you'll play after. Thank you. Thank you. 
ataque por mais terra da vida.
Please remain standing for our closing hymn. So uh, are we able to be offered? Uh, I will bless it uh, uh, with the benediction. Okay. Yeah. So here I am, Lord, uh, number 593 in the hymnal. Let us go from here trusting in God's knowledge of who we are as we are his children. And thanks be to God for the gift that we offer for ministry of God that we continue to heal, to bring peace, and bring blessing to the world. May we go with God's love, God's grace in Jesus Christ. And may the power of the Holy Spirit be with you now and always. They are the grace of Jesus Christ, but of my door. Say, La Mari Maniboni. I begin at the Alfani with my daughter or when I leave the fight here by Nathan. All God's people say, Amen. Amen.